Hello all. So in this tutorial we are going to model texture and light a food stall in 3ds max. So let's get started. So what we are going to do over here is like let's start off with the modeling part of a food stall. Let's go into rendering view image file and let's take a reference of that uh, food stall over here. So this is the reference for a food stall. So let's start how we are going to start up over here is like so very first of all we'll start with this over here first so let's take a plane over here if you want to go with the dimensions you can go with the dimensions no problem so how I'm going to create this let's go over here let's take a line tool over here let's draw a line over here let's draw a line and off this let's go into this vertices and you have an option over here that's called fillet so let's use a fillet option over here after using a fillet option over here I'll go into the modifier and let's use a extrude modifier over here so let's extrude this over here in this way so once you're done over here by using this extrude option over here what I'll be doing over here is like right click and I'll convert this to editable poly over here let's go into this swift loop and let's add one swift loop over here and let's add one swift loop over here so now what I'll be doing over here is like after adding this swift loop over here select this polygon over here and let's use a extrude option over here and just push this inside a bit that's it so definitely we'll be uh, putting one more swift loop over here for the details over here so so for temporary basis I'm just uh, making this as a glass just for a reference over here for now so let's go into the material and I'll just give a basic material for a glass just for the understanding so I'll just go into this and I'll just give a normal basic architectural material and we'll just give a glass over here just to get an understanding over here so this part uh, will also go over here and will be assigning the same material for now all right so once it is done over here now what I'll be doing over here is like uh, I'll select this I'll again go into this and again I will use one swift loop over here and one over here so I'll go into the polygons I'll select this polygons and I'll just extrude a bit out that's it and click OK so once you're done with this so we can create uh, those the trays over here inside that can be easily created over here so what we'll be doing over here for that is like we'll be taking a box over here let's take a box over here like this so after taking a box over here uh, let's increase its <coughs> excuse me let's increase its uh, height over here a bit so reduce its height a bit so let's go into this and 
let's put it so before we go with that what we'll be doing over here is like let's convert to editable poly select this polygon select this polygon and let's use a bit of inset over here and we'll just extrude it in minus and click ok so the tray won't slip from there so select this edges and let's give a bit of chamfer to it and just click ok that's it so once you're done over here so what we'll be doing is we'll be just pushing it in this way uh, push a bit down select this or else you can increase it and if you feel like uh, increasing its height over here that can be done that can be done so so very first of all let's save as this so we'll go into this food save it copy this and one more thing over here is like uh, we need to create a base over here so definitely we'll be selecting this over here select this all and if you require it you can just extrude it oops uh, no problem we'll just uh, create another shape over here or we'll put it something over here like we'll put a box or we'll just take a line over here for now and we'll just put it in this way so much better just drag this down so just push this in the right manner all right so just give a extrude modifier so we'll just place it in such a way all right looks much better now after you are done with this so save your file again over here so whatever the detailing part if we require to do it we can definitely do it over here so we'll go into this again and I'll just assign two loops over here I'll again go into this just assign this loops again over here now what I can do is I just want to make that menu stuff so let's just draw this a bit convert to editable poly so use two swift loops over here one is here and one is here so select this both scale it 
वो शिट हो गई है सो वन स्विफ्ट लुप ओवर हेयर वन स्विफ्ट लुप ओवर हेयर सो सेलेक्ट दिस पॉलीगंस एंड जस्ट एक्सट्रूड इट अप और राइट मच बेटर सो लेट्स गो इन टू दिस एजेस ओवर हेयर एंड लेट्स गिव अ बिट ऑफ चेम फॉर टू इट एंड क्लिक ओके That's it. Now, once you are done with this, over here, there are many details over here, so it might take more time to model each and every part over here. it will go a bit slow over here so for this dishes uh definitely we can take a box over here can just take a box over here convert to editable poly select this just scale this so select this polygons insert it and use a बेवल ऑप्शन हो गई है लाइक दिस क्लिक ओके सो यू कैन गो इन टू दिस यू कैन ट्राई टू गिव अ चैम्फर ऑन इट और एल्स यू कैन जस्ट स्मूथ ऑन इट आफ्टर वर्ड्स just use a swift loop over here so use one swift loop here 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 and let's give a mesh smooth or turbo smooth yeah now it looks perfect over here so now just push this down over here just push this over here so scale it so we can so just duplicate this so let's just uh freeze this scale it so we need to select this all four so it's better we just push it and press it so select this all so just make a copy of it on top of it so 
so let's go on to this view over here and just push it down much better and again make a copy of it and again push it down much better so select this all and just give a color over here that's it that's it okay save your file so just push this up so you can make the tires also so let's take a cylinder over here let's make a cylinder increase its sides and reduce its so convert to editable poly so let's select this edges and let's give a gem for all better so just scale it so convert to poly select this and this and let's give a bit of inset and give a bit of bevel over here much better so now we'll go into this can take a box also or even you can go with a line also So we'll just push this more up. Just give a extrude modifier. So now convert to editable poly over here. Let's use one swift loop over here. Let's use one swift loop over here and one over here. So select this polygons. Select this. Select this. And no, you can just delete this. Save your file. So select the edges over here, this edges and just bridge it, this edges and this edges and just bridge it and hide all. So once you're done, you can just rotate this and you can just place it over there. So let's go to the top view and just make one more copy of it.
now so make four copies of it over here much better so save your file over here So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.